Hello. Hi, Kelly. I'm very fine, thank you. Bush Princess. Kindly tell us, why the name Bush Princess? Why the name Bush Princess? I moved here 12 years ago, mm -hmm. and I wanted to create my own brand, and I wanted a name that was had an African touch, mm -hmm. uh, but you can also use uh, in Europe or in, in America, or you do a safari. So I thought Bush Princess, because the woman who is, wears the bag, she is a bush princess. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> definitely. And now, for, it's been 11 years, like you said, how has been the experience so far? It's, uh, it's really interesting. I am very happy. I have a team of uh, 10 people working for me mm -hmm. uh, with the stitching, and uh, they are extraordinary because they are, they've been following me for all this time. Yeah and uh, I'm, I'm very positive. All right, that's amazing. Yes. Uh, now, when you talk about your Bax collection, you, it's quite a vast and very, you know, very co good quality kind of bags. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide to do bags? Or is it only the bags or do you, you do other things as well? Uh, now, why I decided to do bags? Because I have an experience with bags in Europe. Uh, I lived in Paris before, so we had a collection there made. Um, and had three shops. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show the world outside that in Africa we can make good quality bags. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. And we can do them as, as good as in Europe yeah. and with the same kind of design. Yes. Now I can see you have quite, you know, amazing, a big, big design, different designs, quite a number. And I've seen also beaded work over here like yes. this one. Do you do exactly. bead as well? So I'm, I'm using a group of my size women who has been with me also for, for almost the same amount of years, 11 years. And um, I encourage them to bead so they can pay for the school fees. So it's like a, not a charity, they are paid of course. And I try to do as much beading as I can because I think it's very important also to show the tradition of the Maasai yeah. uh, what I can do. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Creating employment, that's so beautiful. And now, your designs, where do you derive this inspiration from? Because it's quite, it's, it's a lot. It's like every, every, in a year you can basically say you have, you know, three collections that are different and beautiful. So where do you derive this? So I get the inspiration from here from uh, Kenya, I particularly like to go to CBD, to downtown. I like to walk around where everybody tells me I'm crazy, but I love it because it's really where you see people, it's busy, it's and you, it's kind of refreshing, it's kind of refreshing exactly. Yeah. And then you mix that with my experience from overseas and when I go on vacation in Europe from where I am, and then you look at the colors from here and the colors of, uh, how people wear colors here, and yeah. that's that's how you then yeah, figure yeah. out the collection of that. Yeah. 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 So no, so no, now this journey, how has been the experience on the business perspective? It's, I like it. It's challenging mm -hmm. because as I'm a, a perfectionist, everything has to be perfect. Because also I do my export to to Europe and to to America. It need, it needs to be, and I I want it to be as perfect as a bag that's made in Europe. Uh, so I would never grow more than I do today because I am the one who's supervising everything myself. So I don't have a supervisor. I have a team of, of um, people stitching and then I'm supervising uh, the finishing. Uh, so I wouldn't grow. 
I like to work like that and I like to work very closely with my, with my staff. I also work a lot with um, people who are doing brass. Yes, because I can see you have, you, you've done quite a lot of exactly. uh, design, uh, yeah. decorating, yeah, exactly. which is so beautiful. <gasps> so this is all made in Kenya and it's all recycled brass. And I'm very proud to say that <laughs> this brass and these hooks are exactly the same quality as in Europe. So it, it's so it's, beautiful. Yeah. All right. So how about these decors yeah. uh, for this the? Is, this is my do? bush princess. So it's the depending logo. on how it's the logo exactly. Oh, so it's a B, yeah, it's a B and, and P, a P as well. and then you can do it different. All right. So you usually play with the logo. Yeah. This is so beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. nice. And all the rings and everything is made here. The leather is also locally sourced. Uh -huh. It's from uh, Athi River. So there is a big tannery. I do my colors myself uh -huh. and uh, yeah. Different touches as well. And different touches, exactly. I have some suede, I have some leather and uh, yeah. Now, before we wind up, how do you take care of these bags? Whoever gets <laughs> a bush princess kind of bag, how will you tell them to wipe? Use a neutral kind yeah. of uh, polish? The thing is, for the leather, you can just uh, wipe it a little bit because it's a little bit dusty in Kenya sometimes when it doesn't rain. And for the suede, it's a little more delicate. You have to either protect it with some spray you can find here, or you can just also brush it a little bit with a, with a soft brush, exactly. Hmm? This is so amazing. So for whoever wants to buy, where can they get them? Where is your shop physically? My located? physical shop is at House of Treasures in Karen, in front of the uh, Hub shopping mall, uh, where I have my whole collection. Or online, it's www.bushprincess.com. Hmm.